Hey guys, it's me again, back with one more video here for you. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about Pro-J. It is a car detailing company that has pretty much every product you can imagine to detail your car with. So, I'm going to go through and uh, talk about each one of them a little bit. Um, I have used the majority of them already on the car so I will talk about a little bit and then show you a little bit of what it looks like and tell you my thoughts about it. Um, so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and let's get started. Also before I start on that uh, I just want to throw out there if anybody is interested in any of this stuff all you gotta do is go check them out pro j check them out on facebook they're on instagram and they're everywhere you can type it in google and you will find it i'll leave a link in the description below if you want to go order some um just let them know that i sent you there and they'll get you set up good so let's get started so we're gonna start off here with uh, with uh, let's see where the heck did it go? I already lost it. Let's start off here with the tires. This is the Fusion Tire Dressing. Personal thoughts: I think that this stuff works absolutely amazing. It looks good. It has a nice wet look, but does not leave all the grime all over your vehicle. And I do have a white car, so I know that from experience that there is nothing worse than having spots all over your car after you put some tire shine on. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you here what it looks like. It leaves it a very wet look, but does not get nothing on the paint whatsoever. Very good product. Um... I did use the Rapid Quick Wax. I waxed the entire car with this. Uh, easy process, wipe on, wipe off. Works good. And you can see, it's hard to tell with a white car. It doesn't really show a whole lot of it. And you can see it's clear, it's smooth. The water beads off of it very nicely. Um, we used the soap, take a little bit, mix it up into a bucket with some water. Very foamy, it worked very well. Um, I was very impressed with how it worked. Took off all the dirt and grime off the car very easily. You got your leather conditioner. Most of you know that if you got leather seats, this is kind of a necessity. I'm here in Texas, so it gets very hot in Texas, and that heat, it can surely beat up them seats. Pretty easy, it was more of a wipe on. My seats absorbed all of it fairly quick. They recommend two to three coats into your seats. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. You can see the difference, they are very clean. See, they almost look like brand new. Very good. Um, let's see what else we use here. Now this I did not get to use it's for fabrics and upholstery. I don't have a whole lot of fabric in my car, so I didn't really find anything to use this on in there. I didn't have no stains or nothing like that to try it on. Um, from experience, I feel like it probably will work good, as well as all these other things that I have used so far, I was very impressed with. I feel like this probably will be impressive as well. Um, I will try and post another video using this on another one of my vehicles. Uh, this car that I have now, I bought new so 
I'm kind of picky about it and it doesn't really get dirty very often so for it to be stained is kind of limited. The glass cleaner I did use. It does work well. Um, go ahead and kind of give you a little idea. You can see it's super shiny. It doesn't smear either, which I like. You can touch it, smudge it. No fingerprints. I do like that a lot. A lot of them you can clean your windows with and usually you can touch your windows and they smudge. If you have kids, hey, that might be the way to do it. You ain't got to worry about fingerprints. Um, you got the new car scent. Me personally, I'm not a fan of the smell. Um, it does smell like a new car right off the showroom floor, which I personally don't like. That was one thing I changed the second I bought my car and in, in with a bunch of air fresheners. But it does smell just like a new car. They say all you do is spray it underneath the seats a few times and you're good to go. got the Surge Quick Detail Spray. Um, I use this a little bit on the dash. Like I said, my car is not very dirty, so I didn't really have a whole lot to use it on, but it does work extremely well on what I did use it on. This is the Trim Gel and dressing. I will save, I'm actually going to save this for last, I didn't use this, but I will use it on some plastic trim here at the end of the video so you can see the shine that it will leave. You know what, let's just go ahead and do it. We're just going to do a quick little demonstration here. Going to take a little microfiber rag, see if I could kind of show you the difference here. We're going to use it back here on this trim. Okay. Would help if I probably opened it. Makes a pretty big difference usually. Just looks like it's pretty liquidy. Just going to dump a little bit on this rag. Oh, it's really blue. Huh. Interesting. Not going to take very much. Just going to put it on here. It's going to be hard to see the difference, but I mean, you can kind of see if you look close. There's a line right there. Well, this is a new car, so it's going to be kind of hard to make a lot of the trim shine because it already is shiny. But, yes, it does work very good. I'm impressed with how it looks. It doesn't feel oily, which I like. I'd say it's a 10 out of 10. All right, let's see what else we got here. Some polish. I did not use the polish. My car was fairly clean, so I had no really need to try and polish it at the moment. Um, I'll probably make another video using some of these other ones that I have not used on another car that I have. So we will... Uh, Stay tuned for that. I'll get you another video on that. Same with this clay lube. This was one big point that I like about it. I've seen a lot of videos online about these clay lube. Um, it's supposed to be able to put it on your car and the water will bead off of it and all the mud beads off. I did not use it on here. I'll probably do another video on this as well. Using the clay lube to see just how well it works. We also have a wax sealant. I did use this a little bit. 
it was starting to get dark out and I wanted to make this video before it got dark so I did not do the whole car with this yet I'll do that probably after this video is done um, I'm saying all you gotta do is just put it right on the rag wipe it onto the car let it sit for a little bit and then uh, that's about it they say five to ten minutes before wiping it off I didn't wait that long but hey you also get a cleaner and a leather cleaner and interior cleaner I use this a little bit on my dash um, and on some of the leather pieces that I didn't use on the seats dash panels and stuff like that seem to work pretty good uh, I have a kind of harder plasticky material inside there so I'm I've yet to really find something that really makes that shine. I don't know if it's even going to shine. It wasn't all that shiny when I bought the car, so it might not really shine. And last, you got the Redline Wheel Cleaner. Worked extremely well. Um, I did that when I washed the car. I'll give you a little idea. You can see the shine in the chrome and in the black paint. Um, it was literally spray on the car. You let it sit on the car for a couple of minutes. Well, I did all four rims and then I came back and you just rinse it off. And yeah, I'm very impressed with all this work. I put it on there, wiped it off, and there's really not a whole lot to it. I haven't seen no water spots yet, so definitely a good product. I definitely recommend anybody who is looking for a, a new car wax tryout or a detailing interior wise, whatever. They have it all available. Um, all very fair price. So, yeah. If you got any questions, if you want to see another video on one of these other products, want me to go into more detail on it, let me know in the comments. And, uh, until next time, have a good night.